All right, guys, so today we are going to be going over the contents of the latest global data download from this morning. As always, before we get into it, I want to give a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all the assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And um, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but the boy is definitely feeling a little bit under the weather. So at points during the video, I might have to like pause and uh, sneeze or cough. Um, I did do a test this morning and it came back negative, so we can definitely rule out one specific thing, but uh, still not feeling great. Still not feeling great. I think what it is, honestly, is a combination of a cold and allergies, which I tend to get around this time of the year. So yeah, not that serious, just uh, kind of sucks. Anyways, with that said, let's get into the assets. Starting with the uh, Dokken Awakening as well as the Extreme Z Awakening for the Strike Event Trunks, the free to play STR Trunks. As you can see, this is his Dokken Awakening. And we also have the uh, new stages for his uh, Strike Event. There is a Dokken Awakening Medal. And finally, we have the four Extreme Z Awakening Medals for the uh, Strike Trunks. And from there, we have some more Extreme Z Awakenings for the free-to-play Fizz Angel Goku, the Int Ultimate Gohan, and also the STR Kid Goten. And uh, these are their Extreme Z Awakening medals for the Goku, the uh, Gohan, and the uh, Goten, respectively. And these are the stages for their Extreme Z Area event right there. And after that, we have a bunch of new stages for the Dragon Ball story. This is for the Battle of God story. And in total, I believe there are uh, seven stages. So yeah, I believe these are in order. So stage one, two, three, four, and then five, six, and seven for the Dragon Ball story. And this is a little uh, video which will play I'm guessing at some point during the new story, and it's literally just the Fizz Beerus uh, Super Attack animation, so nothing special there. And there's also going to be a new support memory from the Battle of God story, which is the Super Saiyan God Goku. And uh, we have some new Super Battle Road stages as well, or rather Super Battle Road and Extreme Super Battle Road. So for regular Super Battle Road, it's stage 57, Bond of Master and Disciple only, and that's coming out on uh, May 9th. Okay, and then for uh, Extreme Super Battle Road, it's stage 32, coming out at the same time for Wicked Bloodline only, okay? And uh, we also have a new event called Stronger Than Ever, Super Training of Goku's Family. And there are three stages, one is Goku's training, one is Gohan's training, and one is Goten's training, and I'm pretty sure uh, we're getting specific skill orbs for each character. So, like for you know Goku's stage, for example, we're getting Goku skill orbs. For Goten's stage, we're getting Goten skill orbs, and then for Gohan's stage, we're getting Gohan skill orbs. I'm not a hundred percent sure about that, but we do have this uh, new skill orb asset. And we also have the stickers, which are specific to Gohan, Goku, and Goten. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what we're getting. Maybe some other items as well, but uh, for the most part, just like items specific to these three characters, right? And there's a new wallpaper, which is the Sun family training together. Super uh, wholesome. And by the way, this is for the upcoming Goten or Goku. Gohan and Goten Day Celebration, which starts on uh, May 9th, right? Or May 10th, no, May May 8th, I think, is actually Gohan Day, and then May 9th is Goku, and then May 10th is Goten, right? Yo, my memory sucks, because this happens every single year, and I'm still having trouble remembering which day is which, but either way, it's coming up. The Gohan, Goten, and Goku Day celebration is coming up, and uh, that's what this is for, okay? So uh, from there, we have a new key asset, which I'm pretty sure is used to access the new Goku, 
Gohan and Goten um, event. And we also have some story assets or some scripted event assets as Proton likes to call them. So they're basically for various things in the game like story events um, and you know other kinds of events and stuff like that. Anyways, we have a new base Goku. This is a Trunks from obviously the Strike event. We have a new good Majin Buu, a couple of Super Saiyan God Gokus, which I assume are for the Dragon Ball story. We have a new Dende, uh, and also a bunch of missions, which I'm not going to read out for you, but if you guys want to take a quick look, I will put it on the screen for a second. Um, for the most part, it's standard stuff like clearing an event uh, X number of times, um, and using X amount of stamina, and just uh, standard things like that, basically. So yeah, those are some new missions. There's actually a lot of them because they we're getting a bunch of new events, right? So there you have it. And some more missions here. And uh, that is pretty much the data download, guys. Once again, a big shout out to Proton for posting everything, making this video possible. And uh, before we go, before we go, since I don't want to make a separate video for the Extremes the Awakenings, we're just going to go over their details um, right here, right now. Okay, so we got five Extremes the Awakenings coming up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, for the, the Trunks, for the um, Goku, the Ultimate Gohan, and the Goten, as well as the Tech LR, uh, Goku and Gohan. So jumping over to the Dokkan Wiki. Let's start here with the uh, Int Ultimate Gohan first. Uh, leader skill, this is after the Extreme Z Awakening, by the way. If you guys want to know what they do before the EZA, um, I just feel like there's no point in going over it right now, like in this video, because it's going to take a lot of time, and I'm assuming all of you guys just really care about the EZA details, right? So, uh, yeah. For the Int Ultimate Gohan, Leader skill is Hybrid Saiyans, Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 77%, or Int Types, Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 50%. Super Attack, Raises Attack, Causes Supreme Damage, and Lowers Defense. And Passive is Attack and Defense plus 58%, plus an additional Attack and Defense plus 58%, and Great Chance of Launching an Additional Super Attack when there is another Goku's Family category ally attacking in the same turn, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each super attack performed, up to 58%, and Goku's family category allies keep plus 1, and attack and defense plus 20%. Okay, so, um, he seems okay. <laughs> I mean, honestly, just like based on my first impressions on paper, um, I'm not that impressed. I'm not that impressed. Like, when, when I first heard this guy was getting an Extreme Z Awakening, I was expecting, I think, more. Um, this seems okay. I think he'll be serviceable as a, uh, you know, stand-in for, you know, Hybrid Saiyans or Goku's family or something like that. But he'll probably be replaced pretty quickly if you manage to, you know, pull another Goku's family unit. Because uh, he... Like, he's not bad. It's not bad. He's just not that great. Especially for, like, the standard of Extreme Z Awakenings. Even, like, free-to-play Extreme Z Awakenings these days. Um, the standard's pretty high, right? So, um, yeah, based on that, could have been better, I feel like. Could have been better. Anyways, let's move on to the next unit, because there's a lot to go through. Um, we have the STR uh, Kid Goten. And once again, this is... After the Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill is Youth, Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 77%, or STR types, Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 50%. Super Attack greatly raises defense for one turn, it causes supreme damage, and lowers attack, and passive is Attack and Defense plus 150%, plus an additional Attack and Defense plus 50%, Key plus 5, and all allies attack and defense plus 10% and chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% when there is an ally whose name includes uh, Goku Angel or Kid Trunks attacking the same turn, Goku's family, category allies, key plus one, and attack and defense plus 30%. Okay, so 
this one's not bad either. Um, not amazing, but I think maybe a bit better um, than the ultimate Gohan. I mean, I guess it's kind of close, but um, you would not replace the AGL Kid Goten with this guy, that's for sure. If you have the AGL Kid Goten with an Extreme Z Awakening, um, there's no reason to run this kid over the AGL Kid Goten. But um, if you don't have him or the, uh, is it Tech Super Saiyan Kid Goten, then this kid is not a bad option. Um, obviously, you can run them together if you want, right? But um, just like the Ultimate Gohan, this guy is just kind of like a like a filler unit, right? Like if you have better options, you'll definitely not use him most of the time. But if you are a newer player and you're missing a lot of these units I'm talking about, then um, these free to play these free to play units are definitely very solid options for sure. So that is the Kid Goten. He's gonna do some uh okay damage um get some okay defense and uh, the support's nice I, I do like the goku's family support for sure okay so moving on to the next unit which is the fizz angel goku this guy's passive is mad confusing but um before that leader skill is other world warriors category q plus three hp attack and defense plus 77 percent or fizz types q plus three hp attack and defense plus 50 percent super attack Raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And passive is defense plus 159%, attack plus 159%, and disables enemy's guard for seven turns from start of turn. Okay, so disabling enemy's guard is like somewhat useful, but from my experience, it doesn't really make too much of a difference like obviously you will be able to do more damage but it's not nearly as good as like attacks effective against all for example but uh not bad effect nonetheless so yeah uh attack plus 159 percent disables enemy's guard for seven turns and then attack plus 59 percent and high chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks starting from the eighth turn from the start of battle so essentially, after 7 turns, he gets less of an attack boost, but he has more defensive capabilities with the high chance to evade. And then, plus an additional defense plus 20% with each attack evaded up to 59% when there's an ally whose name includes Goten Kid on the team, plus an additional key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 59% when, uh, when that ally is attacking in the same turn. So if you have Kid Goten on the team, then you get this additional defense boost with each attack abated up to 59%, and then if the Goten Kid is on the same turn, then you get the uh, Key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 59% as well. And then Goku's Family Category Allies Key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 30%. Like I said, man, this guy's passive is crazy. There's a lot of stuff going on here, um, a lot of conditions and stuff like that, but uh, for the most part, I think he's probably... Once again, this is my initial impressions, so if I'm if I'm wrong or I change my mind later on, it's definitely possible. But um, I think he's probably the best of the three free-to-play Extremes the Awakenings here. The Gohan, Goten, and Goku. I would probably rank this guy number one. Um, he still doesn't blow me away, but he's pretty solid. He's pretty solid, I would say. Um, yeah. Yeah, just not it's not much more to say <laughs> other than that. I think he's fine, um, but he's not, like, amazing, right? But I guess, like, you can't expect that much at the end of the day from free-to-play, like, story units, right? So it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so uh, next up we have the Super Strike event, uh, Teen Trunks. Extremes the Awakening after his Doken Awakening. Now I could go over his Doken Awakening details, but you guys probably don't care because you're going to be Extreme Z Awakening him as soon as possible. So leader skill is going to be STR types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% and all allies key plus 1 per saviors category ally. Uh, self-excluded attacking in the same turn high chance of foreseeing enemy super attacks when there is an extreme class enemy and all allies attack and defense plus 10% 
if all allies attacking in the same turn are save eaters category characters. All allies keep plus one and attack and defense plus 20%. Okay, so saviors as a category is um it is okay. I mean it's um not the best category in the game, but if you want to run a saviors team, then this guy is actually gonna be a very nice support. I mean he's getting uh he's giving rather attack and defense plus 10% and then keep plus one attack and defense plus 20% uh, 20% so basically keep plus one and attack and defense plus uh 30% to saviors category enemies right or sorry uh, category allies and then uh the high chance to foresee enemy super attacks is very good i like that one a lot because um you know it can be very clutch right when it comes to like harder events where you just can't afford to take super attacks, like a super attack can literally end you. Um, that's nice to have. But I don't like the fact that it's high chance, right, as opposed to like, guaranteed. I mean, we have S STR Jace is literally guaranteed to foresee enemy super attacks, right? So why can't we have that for more units? Like, if you're gonna give them foresee enemy super attacks, just make it guaranteed. Because like, what's the point of having you know, a 50% chance to foresee enemy super attacks, like, I don't know, man, he can definitely, he can definitely screw you if it doesn't proc, and you just assume that, you know, there's no super attack coming, which you shouldn't, because there's a chance, but I don't know, like, if you're using this unit, you want to take advantage of this ability, right, and you can't really take full advantage of it, because half the time, it's not gonna work, so... Yeah, not a huge fan of that. Aside from this high chance here, um, I mean, decent attack and defense boost. He's not gonna do that much damage, but um, he'll do some. Um, his defense should be like serviceable, but like nothing crazy. Um, but good support. I actually forgot about the uh, key plus one here as well. So basically, he's giving key plus two and attack and defense plus thirty percent um, to saviors category allies if you have a full saviors team so solid quite solid okay lastly we have the uh tech lr goku and gohan and after the extremes the awakening their leader skill is going to be goku's family category key plus four hp attack and defense plus 130 percent 12 key super raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and seals super attack and then the 18 key super raises defense and causes mega cost of damage and lowers attack. Passive key plus two, defense plus 59%, plus an additional defense plus 20% at the start of each turn up to 59%. Attack plus 59% uh, when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 58% if it is an ultra super attack, plus an additional attack plus 20% with each super attack performed up to 58%. Key plus five, great chance of launching an additional super attack and recovers 8% of HP at the start, uh, or rather at the end of turn, at the end of turn, as the third attacker in a turn. Okay, so I really like this uh, LR Extremes Awakening. I think they did a good job here. These guys are going to hit really hard, and in medium to long events, they're going to be very tanky because of the building up of defense on their passive, as well as the building up or the stacking of defense on their 18 key super. And, um, yeah, I mean, they're still going to be primarily, at least to me, a slot 3 unit because um, I want to give them the uh, great chance for additional super, I want to get the healing, and I also want to get the extra key to, um, you know, get the 18 key super more often, right? So I'm still primarily going to use them as a slot 3 unit, but, uh, yeah, they should be getting a lot of attack when uh, you launch that 18 key super with the additional 58% attack here. And uh, like I said, you know, defensively, they should be good in medium to long events. In shorter events, maybe not so much because they haven't had a chance to stack up. But um, all around, just a really good Extreme Z Awakening, in my opinion. Definitely the best one uh, out of the ones we've talked about. But that's, I guess, to be expected because this is an LR Extreme Z Awakening versus the... Uh, non lr EZAs, right so uh there you have it guys those are the five upcoming free to play extremes awakenings let me know in the comments down below which ones um you guys like which one you think is the best and which one you think is the worst i think for most people at least based on my 
you know, just quick browsing through social media, a lot of people are not a big fan of Gohan. Um, I don't think he's as terrible as people make him out to be, but yeah, he could have been better. He could have been better. Anyways, um, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Big shout out to my boy Proton10MG for posting everything. Make sure you go follow him. And uh, uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, <laughs> signing out.